Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a happy Monday to you all. Hopefully, your week is off to a brilliant start. Let us get into the new music for the day. We have a debut, a very exciting debut for me personally. Mr. Jew Honey 100 one time is making his official solo debut today. Um, he's done mixtapes. He's dropped a mixtape in the past. What was it called? Mixtape Psyche, right? done OSTs on his own, he's done singles on his own, but this today is his official solo debut, and it's a very exciting time because we have the title track titled Freedom, we're going to be watching the MV for that right now, as well as an EP called The Lights EP, which is very exciting, we're going to be checking that entire project out as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that later too, dear. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Let me tell you, being a mom baby, uh, recently has been really exciting. I got into Monster X during the Rush Hour era, and uh, now that well, Minhyuk might be in the military now, but I got my first taste of Shonu these last couple weeks. In fact, the first piece of content I ever saw with Shonu, like new piece of content with Shonu, was him doing the Super Universe Challenge with Dayong. And just the fact that that was my first exposure into this mysterious Shonu that I'd heard so much about is just... It's exactly what I expected following this group, in all honesty. And what, him and Hyungwon are slated to have a unit debut at some point as well this year, which is very exciting. Very fun times being a mom bebe. But, Mr. Jew Honey, what do you got for us today? Here we go! This is already not what I expected from a Jew Honey title. Again, some vocal layering already. Rumble, trouble, struggle, make it double. Now we got men bubble, pull the gobby. How are we up here? The autumn hop, pull up, start from the bottom. Huh? Now I got the cage, yeah. Full time to rage, yeah. Hey, my get beige, yeah. Y'all are sick, I did it, don't know that. Now I'm on the stage, yeah. I got more tacky, yeah. I got my boy, shut the door, and I'm gonna lose on the race, you know. Oh my god, this is already such a roller coaster. Flex the vocal chops one time. Love the little marching band snare rolls in there as well. It's so mellow in these sections, it's just... Bit 
one beat now. Okay. You know what that is? That is how you make an impact statement. And I mean, this is Mr. Ju Han. Hey, like, Mr. Ju Han, we been knew he got the ability, he got the vocal chops, he got the rapping flow. He can really do whatever he puts his mind into doing. But this was everything. This was a fully loaded Ju Han experience. Wow. I'm actually a little bit overwhelmed by just how much was going on with that. I should say, not in a bad way, but holy hell. Okay. Where do we start? Because I could genuinely just watch this again and just talk about the entire thing. Frankly, I might have to. Because there's so... This, this song has so many little pieces. That each individual like section of the song deserves a little bit of time to be like spoken for. You know, let's just go from the beginning again. This intro throws you off so hard because this is not you do not expect an intro like this from Juwan. <laughs> Because right now, this is just pure ballad. Emotional twinkling piano, you got the nice two-part harmony. Especially the visuals to pair along with it. You know, kind of muted colors, lots of silhouettes. And then... Rumble, trouble, struggle, make it double. Now I got men bubble pull up, got been watching got him. Jesus. Jesus. Like this very well could be an entirely different song. Just styling wise. And this is very much a mid-song genre switch. By definition. But it's incorporated so well in a way where like it doesn't feel out of place. And it's just, you're thinking, oh, this is going to be such a really nice emotional piece. We're going to see, like, Soft Jew on, on the solo title track. It's just swaying along to it. You're taking in the emotion and all of a sudden. <coughs> it's like, shoot, what? Is it the opening of Shootout? It, right? Is it Shootout? It's it's very much reminiscent of Oh, this is gonna sound so weird saying it. The show new titty shake from the opening of Shootout. <laughs> but it's that except internal in your head, just thinking your head is being put through a blender at this point because you don't know where you're in now. You just gone from like really pretty and then all of a sudden <clears throat> we're in the polar opposite. Like you cannot get any more opposite than this. That autumn hold up, hold up, starting from the bottom, huh? Now I got the cage, yeah. We're trying to raise you, yeah. And I get paid, you are. Y'all don't take out that he told me. I love the repeat of that look, too. Yeah. I got my taxi, yeah. I got my boy, shut up on it. I'm the loose on the race. You feel it. And then flip it back again. We're back into the ballad world. And then this is kind of like a meet in the middle type of vibe. You have the kind of motif from the original ballad melody, but you have the crunchiness from the rap verse. Put it together. And 
and the way this second verse is written, I don't even know if this is technically the second verse with a bridge. It's so stylistically different. And because the first verse is so long, it's like a minute 45 for the entire verse and chorus. When you consider the fact that some songs like 2 minutes and 40 seconds, that is a long first section of the song. I love it though, there's so much going on with it. I do want to fast forward to, yes, the dance break. Under gonna fight. Okay, you know what, so that is the bridge, not the second verse. What a shot, by the way. The reflective, like, kind of like outerwear Juan's wearing with all the spotlights shining on him, that is such a cool aesthetic. But his dance break is giving me such similar vibes to the ones that I got watching Jimin Sent Me Free Part 2. It's just the majesticness of it, the grandeur of it, just the sheer scale of it all. You re It really feels like... Like some show, like mate, big antagonist, bad guy, like charging up for the final battle, and that beat with the heavy brass and the percussion part really gets your heartbeat going, and then that prepares you for this absolute explosion that is this final chorus. I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. Lord all mighty. That's a fun time though. It's a lot, but it is a fun time. Ooh. My brain is still like so overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that just happened. Like that is a song that strangely enough didn't have a second verse. It went First verse, or what, intro, first verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, dance break, final chorus. There was no second verse or second section. But I'm not missing it. Because there's so much stuff going on in each individual section, I'm not missing the fact that there is no second verse in this, because it doesn't need it. If it did have a second verse, it'd almost feel too repetitive. Because the charm of this song for me is the fact that every single phrase is so different from each other. <clears throat> and by having a second verse in there, it would have been too similar to the first. I feel like it would have taken away from the charm of this song for me. So I love that it kind of broke free from, I guess, kind of pop song, like the traditional pop song formula when it comes to song structure. Yeah, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. I very much enjoyed that. Hopefully you did as well. But that is it from me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Album listen later today. Keep your eyes peeled for that. But in the meantime, one last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra love and happiness back into the world. Whether it be, you know, checking in with your friends and family, holding a door open for a stranger, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. Know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, see you next time. Bye-bye.